Hey guys, welcome back to another Raft modding video. This is going to be an update on how to mod in Raft. However, I'm going to be making other content soon, so that will be coming out shortly. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be as quick as I can, um, because I don't like wasting people's time, and I'm basically going to explain where to download mods from, uh, how to, where to put them uh, on your computer to make them work, how to test if they're working, um, and then basically just some general Raft stuff. Uh, on the general raft stuff, uh, I'm going to try and explain this quickly. So I've had a few questions um, and comments saying they don't people don't trust it because their antivirus gets upset with them when they try and install it, etc., etc. On the official raft Discord, there is a section dedicated to modding. Okay, it clearly says that they recommend using it. Okay, um, the man who made it, Tech. Um, He's got a really good reputation within the community, but they do say that um, issues may arise and basically they're not responsible for it. So they're saying that they trust it enough to clearly give information about it. And that's why when people's antivirus gets upset and they say that they don't trust it, um, it, 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 it could be a many problems. Some people's antivirus doesn't even bother saying anything and other times they get a problem every single time they try and download a mod. Um, we'll see in this video here if I get that problem and if I do get a problem I'll show you how to solve it. Beyond that, if you are having problems with it or you don't trust it, um, please do not dislike my videos. I'm just simply showing people what the Raft mod, uh, modding community is and what it can do. Uh, I didn't make the mod loader, I've made one mod for the mod loader and so you disliking my videos because you don't trust it um, just feels uh, a bit unfair on me as I'm just trying to show other people what Raft mods can do um, for those people who actually play the game. Um, if you come to the Raft Discord, uh, the link is right here, this is the one we'll be using. Open that in front of you all and I'm just going to move my Discord away. I will also have a link in the top right of the screen now, uh, in a card, or in the description. The top link of the description will be the modding website, the second link will be the Raft official Discord, and the third link will be the Raft modding Discord. Beyond that, let's go. So, this is the website here, you have all of your mods here, you can scroll through these, and then you've got the actual mod loader, and then if you click on the little shark it takes you to the home, and these are some of the recommended mods and popular. So if we click download and then download the launcher and then let's pick a mod. So I'm going to look for a mod that's quite easy to show. Okay, the item spawner here. So this will allow me to spawn items and this is how a really good way of showing you guys that it's working. And in the description it says press F8 in game. Okay, now there's two ways to, uh, to download mods. If you have Raft, uh, the Raft Mod Loader already installed, you can click this green button and it should automatically download it and place it within the correct files for you. Or you can do it manually. I just prefer to do it manually, so I'm going to click this one. It tells us that it's been scanned and it's found no virus, but people can still hide them. It's completely down to you. This mod was actually made by Tech, uh, who's the guy who made the Raft Mod Loader. Um, it would just be extremely shady for him to do anything like that and it wouldn't have 70 some thousand downloads uh, alone. So I trust it. I'm going to download it, place it into my downloads folder, and that's all good. So I'm going to ra run the, the Raft mod loader, and then I'm just going to open up the folder where I put the mod, and then I can close the internet. Here it's going to say there's a new version available, and I can choose whether to update it or not. If you click later, it will just close. You need to have the updated version. Okay, so if you ever get this window pop up, you just click update now. It will do the update, and then it will say it's up to date. If you don't get the window, then you've got the latest version. Here, all we need, uh, well, we don't need any of these, but I'll explain it. Uh, this will take you to the unofficial modding Discord, which is here. And then if you already have Discord installed, it will take you through to that. Then the website takes you back to the website. This is where you're going to find all your mods. Uh, that will also be in the description. And then the only other things you're really going to need if you're just playing is this mods folder. So here it will automatically identify uh, my raft, uh, where my raft is. So you can see where I've installed it, then Steam, Steam apps common, then raft, and then into the mods folder. And this is where you'll drag your mods if you download them manually. So I will just chuck that in there. That's worked. I can now close all of these. If you want to make mods and you have an understanding of uh, some of the programming languages, you can use the mod creator, but that's not a tutorial on this. Once you've placed your mod in there and you're ready to go, press play. This all launches through Steam. 
so all of your hours will count and everything you'll be able to see that it will come up in the bottom right saying um, steam and once it loads i will also uh, show you the steam overlay okay so shift and tab this brings up the steam overlay and we're also on the main menu so at the top here you can see what current version you're on okay match this to mine okay if you've got an, uh, a, a later version that's just because it might be later in the year when you're watching this this is for 2021 i would assume f10 to open the console that's this some mods will use them like a previous video i've made the trash mod you need to use the console and then f9 and this opens up the mod loader you can open this up in game the same as you can open up this and if you come to the settings you can actually change these buttons but by default F10 for the console, F9 for this screen. Okay, on the home, you've got some featured mods. Okay, it will show your things. So, for example, since I've been playing with the mod loader, I've died 29 times, hooked that many items, etc. etc. And you can see when the last update was and what it fixed. Beyond that, you've got another link to their website, another link to the Discord, and then a link to their Patreon if you want to support them. If you go to the mod manager, this will show who made it, tech. Uh, the item spawner mod that's the one I downloaded and that it's not loaded if you have multiple mods you will be able to tick and untick all of them and load multiple at once but as I've only got the one you can just click this button it will try and load it and if it works correctly it will then change to running so this mod should now be working in theory the only other thing on this really is the servers and as you can see there are two servers up currently they've got high ping I don't know why and uh, this is basically should you want to play with a group of friends um, but they want to play even when you're offline, you can host a server here. Beyond that, I'm going to create uh, a test. So I'm just going to start a world and just going to call it test with a bunch of numbers. And then I'm just going to put a bunch of numbers into the password so no one joins. And I'll create it. And once we get back in, I'll show you if the mod's working or not. Okay, so here we are. Just spawned on a brand new fresh raft. It's the same session. So on the uh, internet, it said that F8 would open the menu. And it clearly has. So the menu is working, so what we'll try and do is see if we can spawn some stuff. So I think with this mod, um, if you press uh, spawn, it will just chuck it in front of you, like that. But if you press give, then it will actually give it to you in your inventory, as you can see here. Um, you can also spawn, apparently, landmarks. Let's have a little look if this all works. Let's spawn a large island right in front of us. There you go. Um, and beyond that, I think we can also spawn a bunch of animals. Let's spawn a bunch of sharks to fight. There they all go. So uh, now when I hop into the water, I'm going to have about 15 sharks to fight. And so yeah, that's this mod. Uh, I'll also put a link to the mod that I used as uh, the example in the description. Um, but beyond that, that's how to install mods um, using Raft. If you have any questions, look in the description first, because the most co uh, commonly asked questions I will uh, answer there. If not, ask in the comments. I respond pretty quickly. Um, because I get the notifications on my phone and I'm always willing to respond. If you have any other questions that even I can't answer, in the very top of the description will be in order the website, then the unofficial raft, and then the official raft. I'll also put text next to them just in case I change the order a little bit there. But beyond that, I hope you have a good day and I hope this video helped you. Goodbye.